Hey everyone, uh, you may recall, if you've watched my videos for a little while, what few I upload, that a while back I made a Tinker's Construct tutorial, and it was on how to make an unbreakable pickaxe. And uh, it eventually became outdated because they released some new updates that changed the system a little bit. As you can see here, I have figured out how to do it again. Uh, the primary reason why I'm in, uh, why I'm doing this again is because there are I tried searching and there are no tutorials. I wasn't able to find any for the newer version, despite it being totally possible to make an unbreakable pickaxe. Just like last time, uh, this tutorial will take up all your modifier slots, so you can't give the pickaxe any other unique abilities. But unlike last time, you can actually give it a different pickaxe head, and I'll explain why in just a bit. So, here are the materials. Uh, you need five reinforcements, uh, the three crystals, a gold block, and a paper pickaxe head. Now these materials right here, this pickaxe head, actually I don't know why I'm talking about this stuff, are used for embossment. We do not apply this paper pickaxe head to the pickaxe itself. We only emboss it to it. So this is not going to be the pickaxe's primary head. And uh, Again, you need the crystals, the gold block, the five reinforcements. And now for the pickaxe itself, you can use a head of any type. I recommend cobalt because its mining speed is 12. And and let's say obsidian is only whoops, is only uh, 7.07's mining speed, which is what you needed last time. And then you need a tool, a, a binding and a tool rod. Now the tool rod and the binding can be any material you want but one of these two has to be uh, has to be paper so if I made a paper binding the tool rod could be anything else even paper for all I care and uh, if I made the tool rod paper the binding could be anything else but one of these has to be paper so let's get started here I'm gonna make the pickaxe so I'm gonna switch that up and take the pickaxe out of the uh, tool forge. And now we're going to go back into the shulker box and take out our reinforcements, set those right here. And now I'm going to take the pickaxe head and the gems, the crystals I mean, and we're going to apply those. So this is an embossment where we take the three crystals, the gold block and the paper pickaxe head, and we emboss the paper pickaxe head onto the pickaxe after, not before, after. And now you see it has writable two, which means it has five modifiers. This is perfect. Now our five reinforcements come into play right now. And just in case you don't know, you use a cast, any cast, and eight obsidian. So if we just take those and apply all of them to the pickaxe, like so. And that's it. The last time had a lot of steps, but the new version, it's much easier to make a, an unbreakable pickaxe. And it performs better than the old one, too, which is quite nice. Now I'm going to go back in here, and I made a little t tunnel to demonstrate this. And I'm just going to dig out, and as you can see, I'm mining and mining the blocks and there is no durability loss it's staying at it's staying at its highest durability and it's even says unbreakable on it so that is it for this video uh if you enjoyed uh yeah you'll get to make a base or something i don't know what you're going to use your pickaxe for but you can dig out large areas, you can go mining, it'll never break, and it's fairly fast. Uh, anyways, that's it for the video. Uh, see you all next time.